Hey, 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 what's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, it's your boy Tenacious and this is your boy Keen Elkon. And what are we doing today? Today, man, we are talking about DDG and Rich the Kid. Everybody knows that DDG's name is pretty prominent in the rap community and the YouTube community. A lot of rappers from Blueface to Juice World, you see them all kicking it with Zeus, Bilu, DDG, FaZe Clan, Rice Gum. So it's pretty obvious at this point. Rich the Kid definitely knows who DDG is. Like, no one can deny that to me. I just know that's a fact. So the weird thing is, knowing that Rich the Kid has a wife, and a, who is also his baby mama, you wouldn't think he'd be hitting any girls up. But guess who he's hitting up? Kennedy Simone, DG's ex, man. Kind of slimy, kind of slimy. I don't know if you guys saw it. You probably didn't. But today, Rich the Kid dropped a music video called Red. And the main chick in it that is following him around. They don't really touch on each other. But the main chick that's following him around, kind of half-dressed, is Kennedy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Dressed in all red, I guess. You know what I'm saying? He said... You see, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about the Lambo and the girl, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I don't know. I, everyone in the comments is just saying, can you get that bag and can you get that exposure? But it is a little weird. Like, your boyfriend is an up and coming rapper, really trying to get taken serious in this rap shit. And then you're popping out to a Rich the Kid music video. Like, she can say it was just about the bag, but at the end of the day, I think Kennedy is actually very mad about the Meet Me in the Lobby music video. If you guys don't know what happened in that music video, basically, instead of hitting Kendi up, DG hit up a random chick and was straight making out with her in the bed and doing all this other stuff for his music video. So I guess she was like, oh, you want to do a music video without me? I'm going to do a music video without you. And so, you know what I'm saying? When Rich the Kid slid in the DMs, she took she took that payment and she pulled up and got in the red. You know what I'm saying? Got in the drip. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't make it a deal breaker for DG taking her back. Hopefully it won't, cause it wasn't nothing serious. But at the same time, yeah, it is a little disrespectful. You don't want no nigga saying your girl pulled up for no music video, whatever, whatever, whatever. He's gonna say fuck that nigga. But I don't know. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, like Rich and DDG definitely met at some type of event before for sure. So if so, Rich definitely knows of DDG for sure. If not, know him in general, you know. And. For, you know, sometimes these labels be the ones hitting up these models to pull up to the shoot, you know. Maybe Rich had no real part in this, but maybe he did. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's maybe he specifically picked Kennedy to come out. You know what I'm saying? Either way, apparently Kennedy got that bag, you know. Shout out to her on that end. Maybe she's low-key trying to throw some shade at DDG because you know this is definitely going to get seen. Like, maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow, <laughs> but next week or two, like, it's going to get it's gonna get heard, seen, talked about. And DDG may respond, you know. So I guess we're just going to have to see what happened. And yeah, maybe she is just trying to throw a little bit of shade, you know what I'm saying, for the Mimi in the Lobby music video, because he did go all out in that one, you know? He was trying to put on a movie for everybody. A little TV episode, you feel me? Episode three or something, you know? But at the end of the day, it's like, it's business on both ends. It's a part of the image thing. Kennedy wants to, you know, st still continue building her brand and being an independent woman, which I do understand that, let alone DDG as well, you know? He got to keep up his image for his music career. And, you know, and, you know, it's just what it is. And Kennedy knew that even when she was with him, you know, and there was times that she wasn't in music videos and there was other girls hugging and kissing and touching up on him. But she had to, you know, she had to go along with it. You know what I'm saying? Had to understand this is the part of the game, you know, it's the part of the game. But regardless of that, though, um, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Kennedy's just, you know, tired of being, what's the word I'm looking for? um discreet and she's just gonna you know do her thing now you feel me like ddg's been doing his thing you know publicly and i mean i'm not saying she hasn't either but i feel like when it comes to like them too i feel like kennedy's a little bit more discreet like you won't even know what dude specifically she's rocking with even if she is rocking with some nigga i don't know who it is you know what i mean but like pretty sure we can all pinpoint like at least three to four girls that we know ddg could be possibly talking to you know what i mean He's more public with his um with his relationships. But, you know, I don't know. I guess we're going to see what happens, you know? You know what I mean? DG has not said nothing about this so far, but it's like, let's be honest. Like, he going to see. <laughs> like I said before, he going to see about it. You know what I'm saying? He going to see about it. I guess uh, DG doesn't really have a reason to be banned because Rich the Kid is married with a newborn, like, son or something like that. So 
you know what I'm saying? Kenny, she's literally, she's just one of the girls in the music video. She just happened to get the lead role because probably because she was the most clout one there. But yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how DG reacts. There's definitely people tagging him in it right now, wondering where he's at. But let, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, should they even get back together? Because they've broken up so many times. It's just the point to where it's kind of toxic. Like, you, you might as well, like, if, if you guys have tried this many times and you don't, still don't feel like there, you, you can figure out a solution, then maybe there is no solution. Maybe y'all just ain't meant for each other. As tough as that may be. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel, I feel like Kenny will be down to try it again just because DG's the most boss dude she's dated. And I feel like DG might be down just because yeah, she might be the most independent chick he's dated. I don't know. But at the end of the day, these chicks all expect the same thing. So that don't make that much of a difference, to be honest. I don't know. We'll, we'll see We'll see what DG does. I feel like she's waiting for DG to come back, but he, he might not do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I don't know. In, in the past, when DG didn't come back, instead of her like crawling to him, and like she'll just act super, super friendly. Because there was a point, like, when DG was messing with Tiana, and Candy was, like, throwing hella, hella shade, and then afterwards, she started acting friendly, and she was like, oh, I don't know why you're trying to pit us against each other, and she started, like, pulling up to his birthday party and doing all this other extra stuff, and then they ended up getting back together anyway, so I don't know. Girls, yeah, I don't know. They they never want to say sorry and actually ask you to get back together, but they'll just slowly, slowly just get their way in, so we'll, we'll see what Candy does, but I don't know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. So, honestly, at the end of the day, it's like, no matter what happens, I feel like, yeah, like I always say, if it's meant to be, if it's meant to be, it'll be, you know what I'm saying? I actually do believe in that kind of stuff. Sounds kind of corny and shit, but like, at the end of the day, it's like, they gonna go, they gonna go about their life, living their life, going through the experiences they go through. But if it ends up leading them back to each other, it's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? That means they are meant to be together. But yes, like my homie said, if they just keep breaking up and whatever issue that is the reason why, because I always say, never bring problems from your even if it's the same person you're dating again never bring problems from the previous time you guys dated or your previous relationship always work out the issue prior because it will carry on turn to more fights more arguments the trust won't be there there's so many different things bro like you might as well make a relationship channel because i'm pretty good with this kind of shit but like there's so many different things that would like you know what i mean like come into play they come into play and you guys won't generally have a good relationship off rip because of your prior problems and because you guys never solved them worked them out and gotten through them you know what i mean like there could be trust issues there could be just manipulative issues there could be all types of different things so at the end of the day it's like they need to figure their self out work on their self and then you know what i mean if they decide to get in a relationship with each other or someone else you know what i mean obviously i ain't no therapist i ain't no counselor i ain't no motivational speaker but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be spin, I be, I be spin the facts. You know what I'm talking about? We be, we both be spin the facts. You know what I'm talking about? So that's pretty much what we feel. That's how I feel. And you know, I guess we're just gonna have to see. Time will tell. Y'all, let us know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you're new. Also, if you want to see a few minutes, you know what I'm saying? A few little clips of the meet me in the lobby video we made about DDG macking on that girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting this video for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget to follow my homies and I on social media. Everything in the description box, like always. Uh, and we out. DDG, possibly. You know what I'm saying? We gonna say possibly. Rocking with the new girl from the Meet Me in the Lobby music video. This wasn't just no regular extra. You know what I'm saying? She might have been something special. You feel me? Yeah, I know. You could just say it's acting. You know, she just had to play her part in the music video. But man, they didn't have to mac out like that. And where I'm from, there's two different type of Macs, you know what I'm saying? You could be a Mac as in, like, you just trying to spit that game, you know what I'm saying, and get that girl, you feel me? Which obviously leads to other things, but the second Mac is, you already got the girl, you about to slide, you know what I'm saying? You about to, you about to clap them cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Knock her ankles loose, you know what I'm saying? Break her back, you know what I'm saying? Blow her back, all that, you already know them references. Some of y'all like 12, never mind, forget what I'm saying. <laughs> But yeah, man, that's crazy. I ain't gonna say, I've seen a lot of people making videos about DDG having a new girl and shit like that, man. And to be honest, this one looks more solidified than anybody else. Like I said before, you could say they're just acting. They didn't have to kiss. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of music videos. They're saying they're just acting. They didn't have to kiss. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of music videos. Where an extra's in a music video just to be in the music video. Like, there's no kissing. There's no groping. There's no kissing. There's no groping. There's no kissing. There's no groping. There's no touching for real, for real. I mean, there might be some touching because, yeah, you got to represent what you're talking about, but... 
kissing is not always guaranteed is what i'm trying to say and this honestly wasn't even no kissing bro this is like straight macking like he was making out with her shit like you feel me like on the verge of about to clapping her cheeks type shit like knocking her ankles loose type shit like 